Hello, my name's Robbie. It's both winter and Friday night in Hobart, and I've just finished work. I'm a bit tired and cold and hungry, so please excuse me as I eat some of this pizza. Well, I read to you my story from the third script, the latest book from Transportation Press, and my story is titled the Tiger Quoll. Mm. Imagine a cat that is better than a cat in all ways. It's faster, cuter, deadlier, and has much more pizzazz. It's covered with reddish brown fur splashed by large white spots with a narrow face a wet pink nose, and a tail that's as long as its head and body combined. It has tiny, sharp teeth, and it lives in forests on the eastern seaboard of Australia. Although it's not often seen because it's nocturnal, arboreal, and terrific at hiding from humans. It hunts possums, sugar gliders, rabbits, and birds, although it will also eat roadkill. It kills by ambushing its prey and delivering a fatal bite to the top of the neck or base of the skull. Its mating sessions can last for up to 24 hours, during which the male will repeatedly bite the female's shoulder and emit a series of alarmingly loud growling sounds, which is where it gets its name, the tiger quoll. Now, imagine that you are a child, one of those curious, twig-haired, trouble-finding children who are obsessed with animals, and that your favourite animal of all is this wild super cat, this tiger quoll. But you've never seen one. They're elusive, while you are loud and clumsy. They're nocturnal and you have a bedtime. And thanks to Europeans and everything involved with Europeans arriving in this country, they are rare. While you, your pasty skin, your corn-coloured hair and your stretchy vowels are common 